Libra, welcome to my channel. This is Paula Zan and today we're doing a reading for the 15th to the 21st of March 2021. We are jumping right into the tarot. We're taking three cards initially. First card, the recent past energy. Second card, the present energy. And the third card, potential near future energy. Okay, if you're returning into my channel, welcome back. If you are new into the channel, you are very welcome. And remember to like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow and be part of this beautiful channel filled with healing energies, compassion, love, and inspiring you on your journey. So let's get on with this reading for Libra. We have the lovers in the recent past, we have death in the present energy, and we have the magician in the future energy. Okay, Libra. Um, so from what I can see, just from looking at the first cards here and the energy about it, there's something that needs to uh, be healed, be transformed in your life so that you can turn into everything that you want to, okay? With this lovers here in the recent past, I feel that there were some decisions you had to make Okay, whatever uh, energy this relates to in your life, it could be in terms of your business career, professional life, relationships, family, home, any kind of energy. Okay, but we're going to clarify that in a second. Okay. All right, so let's see what we have here. We have the three of wands. We have the Page of Swords and we have the Ten of Coins. That is beautiful in this future. Okay, so going back into the recent past, we have the Lovers with the Three of Wands. Okay, so there was definitely here some decisions you had to make in the recent past. These decisions could totally be related into what you actually want in your life, okay? Maybe something about your current situation and you figuring out, is, is this actually what I really want into my life? Is this the person I want to have next to me? Is this the job I want to have? Is this the life I want to have? Is this the home I want to have okay and it, it, it's too much with this tree of wands it's too much into coming into your reality what you want to achieve and seeing things okay like visualizing what you really want in your life and make that decision upon what you actually want in your life as i mentioned before in the different areas of your life okay with it of course it depends what kind of current situation you have or you had in the recent past okay remember that from the moment that you're seeing this video that if this video attracted your attention it could totally go weeks before weeks after okay this could be some energy that you're passing or you just passed before as well okay in the current energy, we have the death card with the page of swords. So this death card definitely tells me that there is the need to make changes, the need to finish something to bring um, space to something new with this page of swords. Maybe new ideas, maybe new, new way of thinking, maybe a new job, maybe a new way of talking to people, maybe a different way of reaching you, paying attention, how you interact with people, how your communication is with other people, depending again on the circumstances of your current energy. Okay, but there's definitely here 
this change happening for the better because if you look at this card you have the skull you have a lot of um destruction but in the middle of all the destruction and and the and the, um, the night and everything you have a pure white rose flourishing there so that means that this transformation is needed for something new to flourish okay page something new the beginning of something maybe this could take a while but it will come into fruition and with this this all blue about i feel this is too much into your communication your creativity opening yourself being yourself doing the things that makes you feel good okay and not just trying to please everyone but instead please yourself first prioritizing yourself and in the near future we have the magician with the ten of coins so with this transformation you are clearly going to manifest exactly what you want okay for your highest good okay for your fulfillment because this ten of coins it's about happy families happy home okay you have everything together you have home you have love you have abundance you have prosperity so everything here it's connected okay it's flourished here and for some reason even in this in this treasure the color that it's drawn to me it's actually the blue that goes again to your throat chakra your creativity opening yourself speaking your own truth so there's definitely here this week a special energy for you to speak your own truth okay for you to decide to do what you want to do make the decisions according to what you want what you want to visualize what you want to feel what you want to live with who do you want to live in the way that you want to live how do you want to feel okay so this is all things that most of you will be considering at this time and making your own decisions with that lovers there um making a decision to end up something to start something beautiful okay but again i insist this is a general reading so please just take what resonates with you okay now let's see what the fairies have to say for libra here moderation is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily. Although the fairies say that a little bit of what you fancy is fine. Okay. This card to me, this moderation tells me about how you feel. Okay. Like it's, it's good to have some sort of stress level in your life to boost you to move but not too much and this is what this card tells me here right now it's in terms of the stress okay it's good to have a little bit of stress to make you move but not too much because that will that will put you down so if there's something that is really making you uncomfortable making you um throwing you down maybe it's time to let that go okay maybe it's time to change that for some reason it pushed me to uh, shuffle the cards again i'm going to shuffle the cards again and take another card for libra here and we have believe in magic open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature the fairy of the northern light says you are part of nature so you are magical to believe <clears throat> sorry believe in yourself libra this is what this card is telling me right here believe in yourself believe that you can create anything that you believe okay because when you believe in something that means you can turn that into reality okay because it if, if it is in your energy it is part of you okay let's just finalize here with the archangels and see 
what do they have here for you okay what final advice do we have for the archangels to libra for this third week of march we have a brilliant idea here archangel uriel yes your idea is divinely guided please take action to bring your idea to fruition okay so whatever decision you're making here it is a brilliant idea and whatever transformation you're making here it is a brilliant transformation that will bring you up into fruition okay this is beautiful work on that write it down do something indigo and crystal children so maybe you also have a connection with children maybe you have children or you work with children or there's definitely something that have connection with children maybe you're very sensitive okay maybe you're or your um your inner child is very sensitive so maybe work on that about your magic believing in what you want okay and um I do hope you enjoyed this reading, Libra. It was a pleasure having this reading here for you. Uh, also, please share this video with your friends if um, you find it interesting and help me grow up my channel. And until next time, have a great week.